backyard, you apologize. Yay! The Emperor has been expecting you. Good evening, Dave. Everything's running smoothly. Congratulations on your discovery, which may well prove to be among the most significant in the history of science. His brain is gone. <sighs> Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I'm afraid. ufologist thank you so much for joining me today uh it's been a little bit longer than it has been i'm trying to do a show every three to four days it looks like it's start turning out to be four or five days so sorry about that um i tell you it's just been crazy out there i get so many pictures and it's so time consuming when i come in it says 110 pictures i go what wow i took that many pictures uh, yeah, really have, and a lot of video to go through on the Aurora night vision camera. So it's very time consuming, not getting paid for it, you know. I still got like 1,200 more hours to go before I get monetized. That would really help. It would make me feel like I'm getting paid a little bit, you know. Uh, it's very time consuming, and that's why it's been so long. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up, and most of all, tell us what you think that you may be seeing. I don't mean to complain. It's just uh, very time consuming. Anybody that's local here on the northeast coast that likes to UFO hunt, if you want to come and make a weekend out of it, I sure need your help and we'll share everything. That would be very cool. Need some help, that's for sure. It's a one man show. So you got to bear with me with everything that is going on anyway. There is a lot going on out there. So I would just like to say repent. You know, come on, all lives matter. You know, not just one skin color, all skin colors, red, yellow, black, and white. It's kind of crazy, you know, and especially when you have all of this other stuff going on in Chicago. I mean, come on. You remember, some of the old people remember the song, The Night Chicago Died. Man, this is worse than that, when they were fighting the mob back in the old days, Al Capone days and stuff. But I'm going to tell you, it's really, really bad out there right now. So I'm telling you, Satan's on the move. He knows his time is short. They're trying to do everything they can to stop one man and people are getting killed. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. All I do is pray and try to show love and light. I get caught up in some of that stuff every once in a while because some of the things that people say are just fracking evil, you know? I almost lose uh, faith in humanity um, when some of the things I see I read and uh, so many people think they're owed something, and I don't understand that. Uh, you got to get out and work. You know, America is under the influence of evil, the darkness, uh, Satan. So uh, you can see it. And, and if you read the Bible, and you may have faith in Muhammad, you may have faith in Buddha, Krishna, mine is Jesus Christ and what I'm reading and I, what I hear, a lot of the things are very, very close and similar of what's going on right now. So we all got to come together, keep praying, whoever you pray to. If it's a goddess, I know some girls that like to pray to a goddess. Okay, that's cool, you know. All I can say is just keep positive and show love and light and treat people like you want to be treated you know and be reasonable about it it's just crazy out there people are shooting people at random for no reason little kids are just getting caught in the crossfire that, that's not america it's a third world country we got to really hold together through this because his time is short he knows he's not gonna win no way Okay, with that said, I wanted to get that off my chest because, man, I've been kind of depressed. 
about what's going on in the world because I can feel it. I'm intuitive. And I know that you can too. A lot of intuitive people know, knew this was coming. They knew something was happening, something was coming, something dark, and it's not over yet. We still feel the other stuff that's coming also. So it's going to get worse before it gets better, but it is going to get better. That's for sure. It's going to get better. Uh, that's what I think anyway. Um, but it is not time yet, I don't think. Nobody knows what time. I'm, I could be wrong, but just feeling it, it's not, not yet. Not a lot of things have got to happen before it's ended. So, and don't wish for that day. I know a lot of people do, but it's, it's going to be really bad. Okay. All right. I've been in the backyard and I've been doing a lot of work. I got all dressed up last night to fight the mosquitoes, went out and it was cloudy. I go, I should have checked the weather first. But I did get out there and take some pictures, and I caught a lot of interesting stuff. And we we'll to go ahead and share that with you now. Hey, look in the description box. It tells you how to make a donation if you'd like to help us that way. I have Patreon and PayPal. If you'd like to advertise your widget or your service, go with me for about 13 weeks. See if you don't get anything. And uh, we'll treat you right on the rates. And you better hurry because we're getting popular. <laughs> And the rates are going to go up, so you better get in now while you can. I do appreciate it. Hello to Austin at Snap Fitness, the local gym I go to. I told him I was going to shout out. I wrote on the backboard back there, the motivational backboard. The backyard ufologist. See me on YouTube. I don't think he appreciated that too much advertising, you know. But anyway, um, not making any money off of it and not charging him anything for saying anything. So anyway, uh, trying to get into shape, trying to be happy uh, through all of this time, these bad, dark times that's going on right now. So uh, I've got shout outs also in the description box. Go and follow and subscribe to them. That would be very cool. Tell them the backyard ufologist sent you. If you could support us, by just watching our videos, that would help us. Subscribing, make sure you still subscribe and sharing. I do appreciate it. Most of all, watching, okay? Take part in what we're seeing. I caught some really cool stuff. I'm going to share it with you right now. Here we go. Okay, here's our first picture of the show. And this was on the back deck. And if you can see, it's a little blurry. That means it's high vibration. Okay, can you see it right here? The head right here the nose the mouth the two eyes the two ears it almost looks canine ish doesn't it looks like a canine this thing was really bright i toned it down just a little bit you can see all this plasma around here there's a little entity here another dog or or extraterrestrial uh, dimensional traveler whatever you want to call it eye eye nose right there here's the main one the eye eye the ears and the nose and the mouth right there and then there's little ones all around here they're traveling with him but he's the main guy right there isn't that cool you see that that was a great catch right there now this is pretty cool right here there's an eye here, eye here, nose, and you can see the whiskers. This is a feline being. And then if you look right here, eye, eye, nose, here's the cat's mouth. See the cat nose and mouth and the whiskers right here? These are the feline beings right here. Yes, the protectors. You can really see it really good right there. You see that? That was hanging around. And then... You can't really see what's in here, but you can see that's a person right here, the profile. You can see the mouth, the nose. He's got something over his head, a helmet or something. And then there's something standing right here. See the head and the body coming down, the legs and the arms right here. And it's kind of hard to see because they're so transparent. But you see the eye, eye, nose, and the mouth right there. That's an extraterrestrial or dimensional traveler right there. And there's one down here on the portal. Eye, eye, nose, and the mouth right there. You can see that. And there's an eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. And see the ears right there. Just entities everywhere. There's a, something right here. It looks like an eye, eye, nose, and the whiskers. That's one of the, the feline beings right there coming up out of the portal. We have a lot of those there. 
And let's see. Oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Look at this. <laughs> I saw this. This is the pine tree in the backyard, about 100 feet high. And you can see how all the leaves have bloomed out really good here in New England in July. And it blocks a lot of the light from next door from that stupid... Well, okay. Anyway, they have big LED, LCD lights, you know. And, man, it really brightens up the backyard. <laughs> But the leaves really block it good in the summertime, and that's one good thing. But anyway, I know they have to have it, but uh, it really gets on my nerves. Um, look at this guy right here. Isn't it cool? It looks like some kind of cartoon character, but no, this is real. This is in the backyard here on the Hamanesset Ley Line. Look at this eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. Look at that chin right there. It almost looks like a skeleton, doesn't it? Maybe it is. I don't know. It's some kind of spiritual entity right there. And then there's something right here going on i don't know if this is a portal within a portal but you can see faces and radio waves and all kind of uh stuff in here and geometry it's really wild if you just sit here and look at it you see so many things look right here eye eye and then a snout and a nose right there it's some kind of animal here's something that's sticking up out of a ring right there you see that and that cool it looks like a mushroom or some kind of building right there it could be a portal that's opened up somewhere and you're seeing a whole nother place in another dimension it's so cool when i sit here and think about it and watch it now this is really wild and i'm going to try to bring this up as close as i can but i see these kind of things all the time and i'm trying to bring it up a little bit closer here now check this out i see it's like a platform or something. Somebody's flying something. It may have a, a, a force field around it, and we don't see it. And here's the seat. This is the back of the seat right here. And this is part of the ship right here. But you see the guy right here, the eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. And he's got a green tint to him. You see him right here? Isn't that cool? Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> That's flying around in my backyard, folks. Uh, these are the spiritual dimensional travelers I'm telling you about, the extraterrestrials that are spiritual that are out there. Ask them to come. I don't know what kind this is, but you can see them right there. Isn't that cool? And let's move on here. We see all kind of little things flying around. But this right here, this is eyes. And this is a reflection from the camera. And these are yellow eyes. This is a coyote. We've been seeing the coyote out there a lot. There's a lot of rabbits and a lot of turkeys and all kind of stuff. So it attracts the, the uh, <coughs> coyotes. And they've got little pups. I've seen them uh, going around with their mom. So we're pretty infested here with the coyotes. And I can hear them at night. Uh, it's really strange. It's really weird outside at night up here. You know, usually you can hear crickets. There's no crickets. There's no night birds or anything. It's just definitely quiet. And I was telling my wife that last night, and I go, there, there's something going on here. Something just ain't right. Uh, you got to have crickets. There's no crickets out there in July in New England. I'm telling you, something ain't right. Something ain't right, folks. And little things flying around, as you can see, uh, just all here. And, and here is what I think is a fairy. Now, this is not a bird. This is a fairy. You can see the head, the face right there. Here's the wings and the legs going down. It's a long way away, and I was able to catch it. There it is right there, folks. That's, that's your fairy right there. That's a full-pledged fairy flying around right there see that and all kind of different things flying around out there there's something else there and things down here on the vortex it's uh you can see there's a face right there eye eye nose and a mouth right there coming up out of the portal yeah this is going on in the backyard folks now this is something else that i captured flying around i don't know what it is but you can see there's an eye and there's a beak or something and he's in a flap down with the wings. It's not a bird. I don't know what this is. It's something spiritual that's flying around. 
it could be some kind of pixie, some kind of fairy, but I captured it right there. You can see how far away it is. I go, well, what is this right here? And I brought it up, and that's what it looks like, folks. A lot going on here on the Haminescent Ley Line. Now, this is on the back deck. Check this out. What is this, Q? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but look at this. It goes into a queue. There's something right here. I don't know what this is. Um, it could be a bug. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It looks really weird, though, whatever it is. I've never seen a bug like that. And then you can see a face kind of in here, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth smiling. And looking, this may be some kind of portal that's opened up right here. And then there's a guy looking out saying, hey, man, there's that dude taking pictures. Hey, you know, I got my picture taken. See, isn't that cool? Isn't that weird? There it is, folks. Yeah, some. I told you there's some strange things going on out there. And I go out there. You know, maybe I do have missing time. I don't know. I go into another dimension I, out there. I, I know I feel really weird sometime I go out there, and, and a lot of time passes, and it don't seem like much time has passed at all. So, oh, that's me, and I'm going to have to watch myself on that for sure. But anyway, you can see some ectoplasm going on right there, and some coming out of the vortex or whatever there, the portal here on the Hammonesset Ley Line, but it's very close and you can make out some stuff that's in here, all the geometry. There's an eye here, eye here, nose, and a mouth, and the head right there. You can see people in here looking back at you. So I wonder if they see us too. There's something here, I don't know, it looks like a doorway right here and something sticking out, maybe a person right there. There's two eyes and a mouth right there, two eyes, nose, and a mouth right there. Here's a person right there. Uh, there's just all kind of entities here. Let's look at the other one. This one's not all the way into this reality. Boy, I wish it was. Look at that. There's a big face right there. I wish we could have saw that. And here's another one the same way. I guess they're traveling together. I don't know what this is. Look at this. It looks almost like a shield or something. This looks like a house. I've been seeing this a lot here lately. This may be some kind of looking glass to another dimension. And a portal opens up there. And this is what we see through there for so many miles away. It could be like a big city or, or a village or something. Or it could be back in time. Who knows? There's something right here i don't know if it's standing with its arms coming down working controls it kind of looks like that sometimes i see a lot of that person right here you can see eye nose and the mouth looks like they got their eyes closed there's the hair you see all kind of different things here you see these people eye eye nose and the mouth or entities uh they're humanoids and this is the spirit world folks I'm telling you, it's real. This is not water. This is not moisture. This is not bugs. This is the real deal right here. And if you want to say, no, it's not okay, that's cool too. You know, whatever floats your boat. I really do believe that it's real because I see it a lot. Now look at this, some ectoplasm coming through again in the middle of July. It's wild right here. Uh, I see eyes right here in the mouth, and this looks almost like a fin. I see fins. I see a lot of fish here, fish spirits. I think the water was here, you know, many, many years ago, you know, and maybe these things were, you know, died here or something, and their spirits here. This is like a wolf right here. See the eye, eye, nose, and the ears right there? You can see that's a wolf right there. And then this right here almost looks like a dolphin, some kind of dolphin right here. That's all I can say. You know, I'm just saying what I think I see right here. It's some kind of spiritual animals right here, folks. I'm telling you, see the eye, eye, and the nose, the mouth right here, and the fins. I mean, come on. See these fins right here? I mean... Okay, well, anyway, here's a master or something. I, I know, he's got a beard going on. He kind of came into vision a little bit. Something trying to come into vision here. Two eyes, nose, and a mouth. You can see some teeth going right there. Uh-huh, wild stuff, huh? Yeah, it really is. And then we have an orb traveling with them. Oh, wow, look at this. Ear, ear, eye, eye, nose, mouth. Look at this. 
and he kind of looks aquatic too it could be reptilians yes it could be the reptilians on you know I know they're around too they're all around here and I use first John 414 I keep this place clean they don't hang around too long because there's so many benevolent entities here guardian angels archangels we have it all right here they do come and go but we have christ conscience benevolent entities that believe that jesus christ came here in the flesh and they do protect all portals all vortexes doorways gates stargates whatever is here on this little stretch of property on the hamanescent ley line and they do move on i ask them to be healed and uh, lift them up into Christ's light, Christ's love, and ask the Christ conscience ascended masters to come with forgiveness and unconditional love and take them to their perfect place and go in peace. And usually they do. Uh, we don't have any problems there. And uh, if they don't want to be healed, uh, they run away. So that's, that's one good thing. But we do give them the opportunity for that. And that's um, kind of like a light worker, too, when it comes to that. All right, and check this red one out. This is around the blood moon, and that's what kind of flipped me out. It was very bright. You can see there's a guy right here, entity, eye, eye, nose, mouth, and a lot of them are ball-headed, but it's got the long head right there, and you can see his body right there. He's got something on his chest, some kind of suit that he's wearing, and here's some kind of animal right here coming into view. And do you see this guy? Eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. You see so many people in here. And if you really zoom out just a little bit, you can see an eye here. Look at that eye right there. So you can just see that eye so perfectly. Here's the nose and mouth. Looks like he's got a mustache. And there's a being right here with beings all around him. And look at all this stuff going around. Isn't that something? That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, that's in the backyard, folks, here on the Hemanescent Ley Line. <clears throat> now, I was practicing with my laser, and I took a picture. It's not picking up the beam on this IR camera for some reason, so I'm adjusting it. But that's my, my uh, laser right there. And But look what come up while I was doing that. I was sitting around, and look at this. This is a lady. See this lady? Let me see if I can bring it in closer. You see this lady? Yeah right there I mean she's got earrings on see there eye eye nose mouth here's her hair and this could be a ghost uh, could be some kind of spirit dimensional traveler but she is looking at me and smiling she sees me I see her now I didn't at the time I wished that I could in real time wouldn't that be so cool and I see a lot of uh, cat features here also like right here there's like a feline being feline being right here kind of looks like some kind of lion here's a guy right here eye eye nose mouth and big ears or horns or something coming out but still you got we're wearing clothes and then here's a guy looking at this guy right here a profile you see the ear the eye the nose the beard going right there it's all kind of people in this orb right here but the lady you can see the lady right here. Two eyes, nose, mouth. There's her hair coming down. She's got clothes on. It could be a ghost for sure. Uh, there's a cemetery not too far away. It could be one of the spirits flying around. That really looks like some kind of a feline too. Yeah, right here in the backyard, folks. All right, let's move on here. And this is a snake. I call it the flying snake. It hadn't been around here lately, and it's made its return, flying around here. We do have real snakes here, too. It was out there. It really, really freaked me out when I looked at the picture. It was really close, but it was a rat snake, and he's like, oh, gosh, he's about seven, eight feet long. I don't know, man. He is really long, or she's really long, and I've had several encounters with her, and i never seen a snake go up a wall. But when I went in to get some tools, uh, garden tools, in the barn, <laughs> the snake was there. It scared the crap out of me. I, I said, well, you know, I already had saw it, so I, it wasn't really a shock, but it kind of shocked me. And it kind of looked at me, and then it went up the side of the barn all the way up to the roof. 
and climb down the other side. I said, wow, did you see that? My wife was with me. She said, oh, you got to get rid of that. It's got a nest. <laughs> I said, they help. They really help out there, you know, keeping the rodents down and everything. So it's all kind of wildlife here, and it's so much energy here. Uh, the turkeys come, the coyotes. It just keeps uh, attracting other things. So it's just I gotta be careful when I'm out there at night. It's very dark, and the coyotes walk right by you. Gotta be careful. Um, you know, if one is sick and got rabies, it's not gonna care. So that's why I have to be very careful. Now I was looking. Here's the chair, and I see things here like this guy right here. There's little people, little entities that are spiritual. And I'm just going to let you, you, you can just think what you want to think on that. But I do see these things out there a lot. And here is, well, so you can't really see, it's not coming all the way through, but you see the mouth, the teeth, the eyes right there, the nose right there, something going on up here, eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. Uh, some kind of spiritual things going on right there. And I wanted to show that one. I have so many pictures. Here's the laser. I was adjusting it. You know, now you can see the beam a little bit better. Um, got to charge it up, but it's a lot stronger than that. It's not really picking it up like it should. But there's that snake. See him right here? Or her? Yeah, this is that rat snake. And it was that close to me right there. It's all over the yard here. It's been here for years. I've seen it so many different seasons, and it's got little babies, too. So, And they keep the bad snakes away, too. I thought it was the hose pipe. I said, I don't have a black hose pipe. Oh, wow, look at this thing. This is huge. This thing is, I guess, around uh, seven feet long, maybe even more than that. But, yeah, that, it's, that's out in the backyard, and uh, there are all kind of stuff out there. Um, I see the yellow eyes, that means coyote, and sometimes they're right back here. I have captured them before. Now, this is something in the tree. We have a lot of portals. This is an entity, eye, eye, nose, and a mouth smiling. You got the hair coming down. There's something right here looks heavenly right there, a person in there, and there's one right next to him right there. Little entity right there too. Looks like a little rabbit or something. But there is your entity smiling right there in the tree in the portals right there. And we got here is an orb, you know, with all kind of different entities in it. I'm telling you, it's all kind of stuff out there. Now this is on the quartz boulder here in the fairy circle. And do you see anything? I see an eye here, eye here, and a snout and a nose and some ears right there. I uh, see like an eye right there almost or something. There's a little person right there. It looks like there's some sideways writing there. I don't know. But you really can't see a whole lot right here. But you can look at it yourself and come to your own conclusion. Now, I'm going to tell you, there's something right here. And, you know, like I said, I see so many different things here. Let's, let's, let's just move on here. I mean, I don't want to think you're I'm crazy or something but I see these little entities and you know that their, their eyes are not reflecting and they're looking and they're spiritual and you can't see them with the naked eye our, our visual spectrum just will not see them in their form that they're in but the IR camera does and here's IR camera and one of the UFOs that I did pick up uh, was uh, I think this is going from the north east to the southwest yes now I'll, i check heavens above and i have star walk and i have that new app called the uh, satellite finder and it tells you when anything's coming over your zip code so i looked at it and nothing was coming over no sky link but nothing that they have up there now this could be the space force and i did not have my laser at the time to shoot at it but there were some couple more flying around that I missed. And like I said, I'm a one-man show, and it's rough. Uh, I've got to try to get back out there. And it, it's just, you got to be careful out there. I'm, I'm just got to, you know, safety first. And you can see it's flying right there. It's flashing. It hasn't, I haven't had a power-up. Did you see that one go right by? Yeah, that was a uh, orb. But anyway, there's right there going all the way to the southwest, yes. 
and still got some energy right there but usually I'll shine the uh, laser up and they'll power up for me and it's just getting out there and spending time meditating it's kind of it's you know I want to go out there when my wife's out there and she can help watch and stuff and you know I don't feel so bad about getting out there and, and you know feeling you know like I'm unprotected but there you have it right there and that's it for today well, that was the show for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did bringing it to you. I sure do appreciate everybody. I really do. I hope that you will watch all my videos and help me get my 1,200 more hours I need to get monetized. And maybe we can put more money into the show. I heard it's not much anyway. But anyway, we'll have something coming in. And if you'd like to make a donation, all the information in the description box. Make sure you read that and see what's going on. We have a lot of uh, shout outs there. Go subscribe and follow them too. They would appreciate it. Tell them David the Backyard, you are just sent you and I would appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up and most of all, make sure you comment and take part in telling what you see. I do appreciate you everybody. Uh, all my friends on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know who you are. I know who you are, and we are a very tight bunch. I do appreciate everybody and, and all the kind words. I do. Uh, a little depressed, a little discouraged here, but uh, we're hanging in there, and we'll see what's going to happen. So this is David. I hope you enjoyed the show, The Backyard UFOlogist, and we'll see you back here in a couple of days. Bye-bye, everybody. Be careful out there and show love and light, okay?